Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm sure this looks quite familiar to you, even if you don't use a Mac. Uh, you're probably familiar with the menu bar that runs along the top of the screen, and uh, typically you'll find the Help menu as the last item, uh, at least to the right, uh, for an application. Inside of Leopard, the new version of the Mac operating system, and you'll have to pardon the camera going in and out of focus here, this isn't a normal setup, they've added a new feature. Now this is available in every single application or program inside of OS X. You click help, the first field you see is search with a blinking cursor. All right, what is this used for? Well, not just searching help, but let's say you knew there was a menu item somewhere in that application and you couldn't find it again. You said, well, I knew it was there somewhere. There was a way that I could do something with the visualizer. And I happen to be in, in iTunes, which is a familiar program to a lot of us as well. Uh, where was it? It was in, which menu was it in? Was it in edit? No, where was it? Well, now, when you click help, that search field, you can type in part of the word that you're looking for, in this case, visualizer, and look at that. It pops up menu items that include that particular string, visualizer. So now, I'm going to hover down to the first item, turn on visualizer, and what pops up over here? Look at that. This floating little arrow saying, this is what you were looking for. And of course, they've got other uh, possible hits as well. So you don't have to go looking through the menus anymore. Just go to help, and if you can't find it, it will find it for you and give you a visual cue as to where it happens to be. Now you may think, oh gosh, I know everything. No, just think about it. When was the last time you were in a program and you got lost and you could not find that menu item that you knew was there? Don't you wish the application was there to help? I want to show off another bit of help uh, that I've really appreciated inside of OS X Leopard. If I wanted to change my firewall settings, uh, normally I'd have to go digging through the system preferences, the Windows equivalent of uh, the control panel, or OS X's equivalent of the Windows control panel, I should say. And in here, the Spotlight Search searches the entire computer for any word firewall. Top hit it thought was a calendar update uh, that has to do with the CPU article that I was going to write. But another thing that's kind of nice, it actually has the definition for firewall stored inside the dictionary, which is cool. But this is what I was looking for, the system preferences security. Not only does it take me directly to the system preferences, but it specifically pops open the actual system preference and the tab to where I'm going to configure the firewall. Now I talked about this a while ago, but I think this is just absolutely amazing. And again, this is there to save everybody time, not just newbies. This is definitely for me. So for instance, if you're looking at all these icons and you're trying to figure out, well, where is the firewall here? Well, then you go up to the familiar search field up there in the upper right hand corner, type in F-I, oh, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Watch, F-I-R. You can see how it's deciding for you and automatically fading out the icons or the system preferences that aren't applicable to what you're looking for and only highlighting the ones that you may be looking for. In this case, I could go two ways, firewire or firewall. Well, I'm going for firewire. No, actually, I'm going for firewall. Oh, if I can spell it. There we go. And now it says that's where you want to be if you're looking for firewall. It's got one item there. If I click that item, it'll jump me directly to that tab again. Now this is the kind of help that is absolutely invaluable. It's just yet another reason why I claim that Leopard is far more user friendly than Windows. No doubt about it, beats it hands down. If there's any kind of equivalent to this in, in Windows, uh, show it to me if it's baked in to the operating system by default because I ain't seeing it. So uh, anyway, if you have any other helpful advice for people who happen to be using OS X, uh, well, specifically the new version Leopard, there's a lot to learn, uh, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of good stuff, a lot of functional stuff too. Um, and of course, if you have Windows Vista tips, yeah, I guess I'll take them too. <laughs> Not to leave anybody out, uh, you can email me, chris at perillo.com. And of course, you can swing by our chat room anytime, day or night. We're typically tackling tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that URL is quite simply live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.